After many years of the same handful of companies making the processors in our computers and phones, we're finally seeing some major changes in rapid succession. Amazon rolled out servers based on their own Graviton processors. Apple, of course, announced their groundbreaking Apple Silicon for Macs and iDevices designed entirely in-house. And now Google has entered the fray with its new Tensor processors. And although it looks like they'll be manufactured by Samsung, Google actually had a major role in designing the chip. They had their fingers in there. But unlike Google's Tensor processing unit, which is an AI-focused card designed for servers, Tensor is a mobile-focused system on a chip, or SOC, meaning it combines a CPU and other computing elements, such as RAM, a modem, and audio processing, together for better efficiency. Chips like these are the mainstays in modern smartphones, but only a few companies design their own. Apple, with their A-series, is one example, while the majority of Android-powered gadgets use off-the-shelf SoCs from MediaTek or Qualcomm, with Samsung's in-house Exynos chips being a notable exception. Even Google's own Pixel lineup has used Qualcomm chips until now, but the end is near. And going forward, they'll be featuring Tensor chips. But what is a Tensor chip and why exactly is Google moving chip design in-house when it might be easier just to outsource it? Well, when there's an app for that was a popular catchphrase 10 years ago, oh no. I don't think most of the people using it anticipated how much we would come to expect from our phones. Everything from DSLR lookalike photos to high fidelity gaming to instant AR powered translation. Is this the future? But expect all of these things we do. And as the software that enables these features becomes more and more complex, some of the familiar hardware inside our phones hasn't kept up. So instead of using more general purpose processors from an outside company, Google developed Tensor so the hardware in its Pixel devices would be a perfect fit for Android, in their words, which of course, Google also develops. But before we tell you about Tensor, we'd like to thank Grammarly for sponsoring this video. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that helps you with grammar and spelling suggestions. Simply install the browser extension, log in, and start typing. There's also Grammarly Premium, which provides more in-depth feedback on your writing. It has advanced features like vocabulary and clarity suggestion tools to help you feel more confident in your writing and to save you even more time. These features make it super easy for job hunters to save time and make a great first impression on every application or introductory email. Go to grammarly.com slash techwiki to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today to help you save time and work more efficiently. Now, although we don't have tons of Tensor specifications to throw at you right now, it's pretty clear that much of Tensor Silicon is going to be dedicated towards image processing, which isn't too surprising considering the Pixel lineup has long featured strong camera performance as a selling point. And because modern phones rely heavily on AI to make its images look good, especially important because the sensors inside mobile cameras aren't all that large. One of Google's primary focuses for Tensor is for it to deliver speedy performance with AI intensive tasks, such as improving grainy or blurry nighttime photos. The enhanced AI capabilities of Tensor can take images from the multiple lenses on Pixel and run several different AI algorithms at once to improve picture quality and sharpness, even in tough situations, including fast motion, or when there's so much light, the picture is in danger of being blown out. I was born in the light. <laughs> the emphasis on AI should also help with voice input. This means your phone should be able to better tell the difference between which word is a command versus which word is a part of your message, provide better auto-generated captions if you're watching a video in a foreign language, and deliver better experiences with apps that use any form of AI, such as those that detect objects. This also means that smartphones with a Tensor chip won't have to rely as much on cloud AI processing, freeing up bandwidth, and possibly allowing some apps to function without needing a strong connection to the cloud because you don't need Google to see everything you're doing. But how long will you need to wait to get your hands on it? Well, Google doesn't want to just sit on this thing forever, especially as it's already behind Apple in terms of vertically integrating SOCs into its own phones. And the Pixel 6, which will be the first device to feature the Tensor chip, should be available in fall 2021. Google has left open the possibility it'll show up in other devices at some point, but let's see how well their Tensor-based phones take off first. If they do well, maybe we'll see Google stores popping up at malls where everything is painted white. Thanks for watching guys. Like or dislike the video, whatever you wanna do. Check out our other videos and comment below with video suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe and follow or else you won't get any Tensor Chips anywhere.